Well, Aaron, many would argue that this needle exchange program does a lot of good, but the, one of the biggest concerns is the amount of litter it generates, and it generated a lot of litter here at this homeless camp. The needles that were found here were distributed by a group called Harm Reduction Roadshow, and some people now coming out against that group and opposing its efforts to expand the needle exchange program to other parts of Santa Cruz County. Some even writing letters to state leaders asking their application be denied. But supporters of the program say free needles have been a valuable tool in reducing the spread of communicable diseases. The AIDS virus is, in the homelessness population has been reduced to practically zero because of the, the disposable needle syringe. So we want to, and also uh, hepatitis C, uh, we believe that's been a great reduction. So any access for the homeless population at all for the disposable needle is very important. I think the thing we come in, uh, we're concerned with is how they're disposed of. And that there is one of the biggest issues facing the program, how the needles are disposed of. There was a red drop-off box here at the camp, but obviously not everyone was using it. Santa Cruz Police Chief Andy Mills even voicing some concerns over the program. And he has suggested implementing possibly a cash for needles program in an effort to cut down on the amount of litter. I'll be following this story. Have a full wrap-up coming up tonight on Action News 8 at 11. Reporting from Santa Cruz, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.